Time now for our tech tip, presented by SPT, the world's largest remanufacturer of PwC engines. In this week's SPT tech tip, we're going to talk about the question that I'm asked most often, which is, how do I align my drivetrain? Well, actually, there's a couple different types of drivetrains. Yamaha and Kawasaki use this coupler dampener arrangement, where Sidu and Polaris use this PTO flywheel or power takeoff flywheel that has female splines and it uses a drive shaft with male splines to fit into it. This one here requires a special tool in order to align it, so it's a little bit harder to do. Let me show you how to do that one first. The first thing we have to do to align our Sidu drivetrain is remove our pump. We have a couple of cables like your steering cable, reverse cable, there may even be a couple of hoses you have to remove. Once you've removed all of that, then you can get to the bolts of the pump and actually start removing the pump. In order to remove this drive shaft on some of the CDU models, you have to pull this collar back and remove this metal C-clip here. Like so. The next thing we need to do is remove our drive shaft. This pulls out rather easily, like so. Then you need to make sure that this area right here is nice and clean, so when you install the drivetrain alignment tool, the plate is nice and flush up against the hull. There are actually two different bolt patterns for c so they have two different plates. Pick the correct one and install that. Now that you have your correct plate, install the alignment tool. If it doesn't go in easily, you may need a mallet to tap it in place. In order to secure your alignment tool to the hull, use the same nuts that secured the pump to the hull. Install the nuts and then tighten them down. Once you have those tight, install the alignment shaft that comes with the tool. Slide it through this guy to really gently guide it into the engine compartment. As we can see here, our PTO flywheel does not line up with our shaft of our alignment tool. It's a little bit too low. So in order to correct this, we will have to use a shim and place this shim between the rubber engine mount and the engine bracket. Now that you've shimmed your engine, what you want to do is run this shaft in and out to make sure that it goes all the way into the PTO without binding. The other type of drivetrain that we mentioned earlier, the coupler style with the Yamaha and Kawasaki's, needs to be aligned as well. What I like to do is I like to get a feeler gauge and use the thickest gauge in there as my straight edge. And I'll measure the top and the bottom and the sides of my coupler to make sure it's aligned. If it's a little bit too high, too low, left or right, I need to shim the engine accordingly. Once you've done all this, make sure you tighten everything down, check your alignment again, and if you do that, you can be assured of a smooth running craft.